Okay. Well, how did we get here? We're using our imagination. Oh. <laughs> so these must be the Israelites. Yep. Oh, now that is a good question. Have you ever heard of a guy named Moses? Hmm, isn't he the one who parted the Red Sea? Right again. But we're gonna go back a little further. The Israelites were living in Egypt, but not because they wanted to. No, the Egyptians had taken them captive and were making them work very hard as their slaves. It was miserable, but God cared about the Israelites, so he sent Moses to lead them out of Egypt and into their own land, the Promised Land. This is the Promised Land? No, 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 no. Oh, the land God promised them was wonderful. You could grow things and there was lots of food. No, this is the desert. So why are they here? Ah, yes. That is the point. When Moses and the Israelites left Egypt, all they had to do was follow God's directions and they'd go right to the promised land. But uh, they didn't always follow God's directions. Sometimes they went their own way instead. What do you mean? Well, for example, Moses led them to the promised land right away. But when some of the Israelites took a look around, they saw people there that looked like giants. That scared them so much, they wouldn't go in. They got to the land God promised them, and then they turned around and ran away. Oh, my. Now, God was very disappointed in the Israelites for not following his directions. So he told them that none of them could go into the promised land for 40 years. You're kidding me. Nope. That's why they're stuck here in the desert. Wow. By the time 40 years had gone by, Moses had died. I thought this story was about him. No, it's about Joshua. Joshua? Who's he? Well, he was Moses' helper. When Moses died, Joshua became Israel's new leader. Do I know you? I'm the narrator. Oh. The Israelites were very sad about Moses dying because he was a great leader. But at last, it was finally time. It's time? It's time? Did he just say it's time? We didn't have a lot of fun in the desert. We didn't have a lot of fun in the sand. We'll saddle up your cow and go behind us now. Because we're going to the promised land. For years I've eaten nothing but manna. A dish that is filling. were finally going to their new home. With a big grin, Joshua led his people into the promised land. Unfortunately, he overlooked one little detail. Jericho. Broccoli, celery, gotta be 